I'm the CEO and co-founder of Purple. This is David, my amazing co-founder. Purple is a platform that connects content creators directly to their audience through text messaging and Facebook Messenger. We believe the future of media will be built around people rather than organized around large brands and institutions. And we want to be able to empower the signals and all of that noise, the high quality content creators who are producing really good content and want to build a really large, highly engaged, loyal audience rather than just generate random eyeballs and clicks. So let's take Philip for example. Philip is a political journalist. He covers the White House. He's been doing it for years. He's super passionate about it. You want to learn about what's going on in the White House from this guy. So Philip started a messenger channel on Purple. So you, when you sign up, you immediately get a personal welcome message from him. He's already starting to build that relationship with you, the subscriber, where you're thinking of him as a human being and not just a faceless source. So Sean Spicer cranks up the White House press briefing, and Philip sends out a message to subscribers, letting them know it's going down. You can watch live and um, message me any questions if you have while you're watching it. So Let's say I'm a subscriber, I'm watching, I see that Spicer is talking about an executive order rolling back certain climate change regulations. Um, <laughs> oh, God, sorry. Okay, wonderful. Um, I have a question. I want to know, is this EO purely symbolic or is this actually going to have an impact on carbon emissions? So instead of Googling it and hunting for the answer myself, I can just directly message Philip, the one who I know knows the answer to this question. Now on the back end, Philip has a Slack channel that allows him to easily monitor any freeform message that any subscriber messages him, and he can click through and use our conversational interface to directly message them back one-to-one. -one. And this is really powerful in terms of building trust and loyalty with your audience because they can see that you actually care about engaging with them. Um, so the press briefing is over now, and uh, Philip can send out an interactive story with his breakdown of what happened and give the, give the subscriber the ability to dig deeper into the interactive story asynchronously on their own time. It should pop up here in a second. There we go. Um, and this is a really digestible way to consume information. Um, and it also gives the pe people who have really busy schedules, you know, you can kind of go through this info on your own time rather than having to hunt through Twitter. So. The advertising model underlying the vast majority of the media industry is really sort of starting to crumble because it incentivizes quantity over quality, which means that as the volume of content increases, the quality of it continually goes down and so that also pushes down advertising rates. So what we did is we built a subscription feature that allows content creators to paywall their channel and paywall that personal engagement. So actually right now, um, here, I am launching uh, a new channel or I'm going to be covering healthcare policy. This is sort of my nerdy area of expertise um, via SMS that you can subscribe to. The first two weeks are free for all launch people, so hook you guys up. Um, and if you guys text launch to that number, you'll get all of the um, links to our website. You'll get the links to the first two channels that launched on Purple earlier this month. We just opened up the platform to independent, other independent content creators really excited about that. Their channels are awesome. And yeah, thank you guys so much. We would love your feedback. All right. So you were great on stage in spite of all that madness. Very good job. And do we have questions for Purple, please? So uh, what's your revenue model aside from the subscription service or anything else right now? Yeah, that's our main focus right now. Um, partly because, you know, there's, uh, there's a trust problem uh, in media, obviously. There, lowest levels of trust between the public and media since Gallup started recording it. And in the future, for, to build a really sustainable model for media, um, as the advertising model is sort of starting to be really difficult to sustain, especially for independent content creators, the only real sustainable way for them to monetize right now is via subscription. I mean, there's um, like Ben Thompson who writes Stratechery. He's one of the only independent writers who's been able to build up uh, enough of an engaged audience and sustainably monetize. So that we, we look at the subscription model as this is a way for an audience who really appreciates and, and trusts this source as their go-to to support them, and then we take a 30% cut of all of those uh, subscription fees. Yeah, okay. 
So can anyone sign up to create their own channel or are you being purposeful and curating uh, those folks? So as of right now, they're all curated. Um, we're thinking a lot about who to invite and who to bring on. I think there's a lot of synergy between the people that are on the platform and we want to make sure that as we open up discovery and all these things, we can leverage the trust that you build with one content creator to get onto the next one. And the more open we make it, the more difficult that becomes. We want to get as close to open as we can while still be able to maintain that trust. So that's something that we're working a lot on. So how much is a subscription? And do you subscribe to each rider and pay separately? Or do you get a bulk monthly payment and you can sign up to as many as you want? And number two, um, I do appreciate the personal touch of having the ability to message individually. But if you have 100,000 subscribers, how do you keep up with all that? So in terms of price, it's up to the individual content producer what they want to set that. We did, last year we did an experiment with uh, March Madness where we charged $3 to get updates during March Madness. People were very receptive to that. Typically, we've seen things in the lower ranges. Uh, similar things can happen with Rebecca's channel or probably under $5. Uh, but you can imagine certain content creators, if they're really high value and they want to limit the number of people that get in there, they can charge a lot, uh, similar to uh, some major like publications, independent publications that are coming out. And then um, your second question was about scale with the one-to-one. -one. So the, the power of being able to have a one-to-one -one conversation with a subscriber, um, you can translate at scale without having to message back every single person. So for example, my, my messenger channel that I, I started, which is the first one we launched Back in uh, end of 2015, we were covering the 2016 election via text message. Um, that's now grown to about 16,000 subscribers. I get a lot of freeform messages. Um, but what I do often is if I answer a question, I'll turn that Q&A into content and push that out to the channel. So saying, hey, great question from Seth about the debt ceiling. You know, shout out to him. Here's the answer. And what that does is it shows every other subscriber, hey, like I am listening to, I do read these. And that's at the end of the day, what we've found is that's what people really want to feel, like their voice is heard and they're contributing and it's more of like a community. Um, so there's ways that you can sort of do this at scale without having to mess back every single person. Great answer, it's fantastic. I want to follow up with you guys, so find me later. Uh, let's give it up for Purple.